What's up guys? So, doing another one here. Another uh, full size Chevy brake line job. Man, I probably make uh, a couple grand a month on these things, but got a five minute quick tip, check it out. Shut up and sit down. So you can see, I got the workspace set up. Obviously got all the quarter inch brake line, rolls and rolls of it. I like to do this stuff in bulk. That way you make more money on it. And uh, I don't think I've ever bought pre-bent lines unless they were stainless steel. But I wanna show you guys, I do so many of these, I just called the parts store and they actually don't have any more fittings. You know, I usually like to buy new fittings, get new fittings, but I want to show you guys how to, uh, how to save these things when they're bad. This one, another pretty bad one. You can see where I cut all the lines there. I'll probably just leave that whole bundle up there and route my own lines, try to make it look as stock as possible. But we got the ABS unit here. Let me not get in the light here. I got my little snap-on floodlight there. But I don't know if you guys are catching the ABS unit. You can see the fittings there. Basically, you just want to cut the fittings, cut the line off, unscrew the fittings. These are uh, like rusty 14 millimeter fits on there. But break those loose, get them off of there. All right, I grabbed a couple of them off of there. Basically, you just want to take them to the parts bench the workbench I'll show you guys what to do so you can see that's where I cut them with just some dykes cut the rusty brake line off pop a socket on there that way you're not putting a wrench on there trying to strip it and I doubt this thing's gonna spin anyways this is the rust belt but grind this Take it down flat like that. Pop it over here in the vise. And then whatever size line it is, just get your corresponding drill bit to match. You know, 3 16 this one's quarter inch, so I got quarter inch drill bit. And then just drill it out. I like to try to get out all the rust. One eternity later. After you're done cleaning it up on the wire wheel, there we go. So I could reuse this now. Just do that to all of them or whatever ones you can't replace in my case. Because none of the parts stores have them anymore. And I ran out. So after you drill them out, get your brake line, they fit right on. Go ahead and route your line, flare it, however, however you do it, good as new. Also save the customer a little bit of money reusing these because they're not, they're not really rotted, they're still perfectly fine. Maybe spray them a little bit so they spin, good as new. And then always remember to put your fitting on before you flare the line. Not like me where you make a perfect flare and you forget to put the fitting on. Just a quick tip for you guys out there doing brake lines or doing fuel lines, whatever, what have you. If you can uh, find the fittings, some of those I know are special fittings, special threads. Not all parts stores always have them. Like I said, my local stores just don't have them because I bought them all. I do probably three of these trucks a month. These brake lines are starting to get boring, starting to get tiring, but money's money. So quick tip for you guys, like, comment, subscribe. We get back to work, signing out.